Hi. So today we are going to discuss more about uh, Java generics and containers. What exactly is the containers? And by the end of this small session, we would know what exactly is the importance of containers and what exactly are the collections and all those aspects. So in Java, like we know that we mostly deal everything and whenever we talk anything, it's all about the, on the basis of objects. So everything is being done with objects and here what we, we know that in Java to hold any object we need something we just like if we want to hold something we need some kind of uh, utensil or something similarly in Java we have containers and that containers are basically intended to hold an object to hold an object we need containers and there are basically four types of containers we call list set queues and map. So these are most popularly used containers and we ca we are also calling them collections sometimes. So collectively the collections also there's a there's a term called collection and another term called collections. So just to avoid these confusion we always use the term containers. <laughs> now we often hear that uh, a term called Java generics what exactly is used, why it is used and why it's not recommended to use. So we'll just talk about one example here and then following that example we'll talk why exactly generics and type safe containers are important for us. So let us consider this example. I have a class called class apple, some declarations, then class orange and there's no declaration inside that and there's a third class called class, uh, you know, without generic, let's say. So in this class we have I have my main. I'm declaring an array list. Array list apples equals new array list. So initialize my array list object. Now for i zero to three, apples dot add in braces new apple apples dot add new orange. So I basically in apples in this array list object I am adding the object of class apple and object of class orange. Now, so I have used array list. Uh, array list is another container which is similar to arrays but the difference is whenever we access in array list so I have a set of methods like add, get and id so these are the set of methods in array list compared to a array wherein we have to use iterator every time to access some, something. So in this class, in the array list, uh, we are able to add the object of apple and object of orange in the array list. That is, if I have array list, so in this array list I am adding the object of apple class and or adding the object of orange class. So this is fine, there is no problem and in compile time it would not give me any problem. It will clear the compilation without any issue but in runtime I will get an error. The error would be because in this array list I cannot store different type of objects together. So it has to be either apple objects or orange objects but logically because this array list never talks about the kind of objects it is going to store, it simply talks about the array list and we are initializing the object so it's not at all checking the kind of objects I am storing and that is bad it's just like you are trying to store water and milk in a single container which obviously you know either pollutes water or pollutes milk so this is bad so how this has to be done so in that case we have to avoid using the generics we'll use with like this this is without generics which means like I'm not using any type safe container I just use a container and just try to do something which is not efficient because you wasted your time in doing the compiling it, it compiled correctly but in runtime it would not give you the intended results so what we'll do we'll use generics so how it how it will be used so instead of a list here that we have declared what we'll do let me just uh, rub it here so what I'll use array list and then I'll use angular braces and define the kind of objects it is going to store. For example, I have a class orange and a class apple here. 
So in this case the array list and then apple everything would go same but wherever we am, I'm using array list I'll use this angular bracket and the object or I can use array list apple comma orange and this would work. So basically what is the benefit? Like I'm doing all these stuff what what how it is going to help me. So it is going to help me in the sense that this time I would be able to compile it and run it correctly. But if I am using this format and I use trying to put the object of orange though I have declared only for apple so it will give me the compile time error. Basically it is improving my process whatever I am trying to do it is just improving it. So this is like the benefit of using one of the basic very basic benefit of using generics. So similarly another concept that we can also talk about over here is that whenever we are using uh, you know a container trying to access an object from a list of container so actually in any container they know the kind of objects that they have for example if I have a list so list knows the type it holds it has the information it, it does not need to cast it every time I call a get from the, the item from the list so if I'm using like if I'm not entering it manually if I'm using some kind of container so the, the problem is not that uh, you know I mean I mean to say we, we do not need to upcast it it will work automatically so for example let's take another example I have a class uh, let's say I'll, I'll use it here I have a class one class A1 which extends apple apple class which we discussed earlier class A2 which again extends apple class A3 extends apple so I have three class basically they are extending apple and now uh, what exactly I need to do I will declare my array list apple new array list right so uh, I declared my main I declared the array list now whenever I have to add the object so I'll simply go to the array list object that is apple dot add then new now either it has to be apple but I am using class a1 which is extending apple so I can simply call the constructor of a1 so it would be new a1 and this is done similarly for all those like a1, a2, a3 I can simply add their objects directly in this class and then I can print all of them so whenever I am printing them so it would print the class name the object name along with their hex code of the value whatever is being assigned so this is like the one of the basic, uh, you know, if someone asks you like what exactly the generics, how it is beneficial, so this is how you are going to uh, tell them. We'll just give you a brief overview of uh, the Java library, like how we can hold our objects in the util uh, library using collections. So collection is a sequence of individual elements. For example, uh, coming back to the collections. So ArrayList is also a type of you know a media to hold your objects and let's say what is collection. Collection is is an individual elements like whenever you have to store one element, one element means which are um, n not dependent on any other object like singly uh, or uniquely. So uniquely does not mean like two different objects uh, of same objects cannot be stored obviously they can be but they do not need any kind of association. So for example they hold the elements singly in a way that they are inserted, they are deleted, they can be duplicate all those things for example set, list, queue etc. So these are called collections. 
second is map map is something which stores in a form of associative array associative array means some kind of association means i have an object which is related to some other other object or some other array or some some kind of relation so some kind of linked data then we use map so map is a group of key value pairs key and value pairs and collection is like our individual pairs so that was all about uh, the basic idea about collections and maps and generics which you might face these questions many times in your interviews and i'll keep on collecting uh, some more beneficial material for every one of you and then probably uh, give you some more details on that thank you for listening